Hello dear students, we are reading chapter number 3, the water from Flamingo class 12th. So let's continue the chapter deep water. In our previous videos, we have done the half of the portion of the chapter. Now let's continue with the rest part of deep water. So dear kids, we read the chapter till this slide in the last video and uh, where we read that in the third phase of learning process the instructor taught uh, William Douglas to kick the water surface with his legs he did this practice for many weeks and uh, uh, his uh, uh, he relaxed finally he practiced a lot uh, for that and uh, he could order his legs to kick in the desired way in the water so let's come to the next slide today. Thus, piece by piece, he built a swimmer and when he had perfected each piece, he put them together into an integrated whole. In April, he said, now you can swim, dive off and swim the length of the pool crawl stroke. So here, finally, uh, after you know he is saying in april right so the instructor he is who here the instructor made a swimmer out of uh, william in the different phases Anna? and uh, when william had perfected each phase usne itni zyada practice kari ki uh, he just uh, did a very good you know the best effort and uh, he was perfect he uh, was perfect in each of the face so he compiled uh, all the faces and uh, then then he just uh, became a good swimmer then in the month of april his instructor told him that william now you could swim and he asked him also to dive into the pool and swim the length of the pool crawl stroke means in a particular style called the called uh, crawl stroke okay so this picture you can see here this is called stroke crawl stroke sorry next is i did the instructor was finished so what is the meaning of this line i did the instructor was finished means his work was now finished right so he said here that uh, now he had uh, uh, become now he overcame the fear and uh, he just uh, became a wonderful swimmer also and the work of the instructor was to teach him he taught him actually and he just uh, created a perfect swimmer and the work of the instructor was over but i was not i was not finished i still wondered if uh, if i would be better i would be terror stricken when i was alone in the pool i tried it i swam the length up and down tiny vestiges of old terror, terror would return so this vestiges means what the traces okay the meaning in written in another color here in the bracket so here he is given uh, here he is saying that uh, uh, we have read that uh, william had uh, uh, actually uh, became a perfect swimmer right and his instructor declared that but he had not overcome the fear yet right and uh, wonderful uh, and uh, he was uh, very surprised or he was very wondered ki agar instructor mere saath nahi honge aur main agar kahin by the way swimming ke liye jaunga to ho sakta hai ki wahi terror uh, that would again grab him back right so when he would be alone in water ki jab pehle ki tarah hi ho sakta hai ki abhi to swimmer mere saath hain to mujhe lagta hai ki ha mujhe sab seekhna aa gaya aur mere trainer ko ye lagta hai ki main perfect swimmer ho chuka hu लेकिन अगर मैं कहीं अकेला हूँ तो इट मे हैपन दैट ओल्ड टेरर वुड ग्रैव हिम वंस अगेन व्हेन ही वुड बी अलोन इन द वाटर एंड ही ट्राइड टू स्विम अलोन इन द पूल राइट द टेरर रिटर्न इन द स्मॉल फेजेस सो हियर ही इज सेइंग आई स्वैम द लेंथ अप एंड डाउन एंड द टाइनी वेस्टेजेस ऑफ ओल्ड टेरर वुड रिटर्न एंड द टेरर दैट द ओल्ड टेरर दैट केम इन स्मॉल फेजेज बट नाउ 
uh, as he knew how to swim so he faced the terror with confidence so let's see but now i could frown and say to that terror trying to scare me yeah well here's you look and off i would go for another length of the pool so here he is such a uh, he has become such a confident boy right uh, that he faced the terror he threatened the uh, terror bas usko dhamki deni shuru kar di ki are bahut darate ho mujhe aa jao main tumhe batata hu bhi to mujhe dusri jagah pe bhi jana hai abhi mujhe dusri length of the pool mein bhi jana hai to itni kitni tumhari himmat hai ki mujhe darate raho usne usse baat karna shuru kar diya right और बहुत कॉन्फिडेंट हो गया ही जस्ट फेस विद द टेरर विद कॉन्फिडेंस यू कैन से दिस वेंट ऑन अनटिल जुलाई बट आई वाज स्टिल नॉट सेटिस्फाइड आई वाज नॉट श्योर दैट ऑल द टेरर हैड लेफ्ट सो आई वेंट टू लेक वेंट वर्थ इन न्यू हेमिसफेयर डाइव्ड ऑफ अ डॉक एट द ट्रिग्रिस आइलैंड एंड स्वयं टू माइल्स अक्रॉस द लेक टू स्टैम्प एक्ट आइलैंड so here in this uh, uh, in this slide he is saying that uh, william uh, you know swam like uh, this like uh, we read that ki usne threaten karke aur bahut confidence se somehow usko wo purana dar to bar bar aata rehta tha lekin usne usko face kiya confidently face kiya until the month of july he did such type of swimming but again he was not satisfied he is saying i was not still satisfied he wanted to be sure i was not sure that all the terror had left and he wanted to be sure ki agar ab main tairna seekh raha hu to main sure ho jaun ki mujhe dar lage hi na right so uh, he wanted to make it sure that if uh, uh, that all the fear had left him or not so i went to lake one worth in new hemisphere so that's why to do this to just overcome that fear the residual fear also he went to uh, न्यू हेमी स्वेयर वेंट वर्थ लेक इन न्यू हेमी स्वेयर एंड ही डाइवड देयर ही डाइवड इन टू इट फ्रॉम ट्रिग्रे आईलैंड एंड स्वाम फॉर टू माइल्स राइट सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट अक्रॉस द लेक ऑफ द स्टैम्प एक्ट आईलैंड उसने वहाँ एक जो वहाँ पर मतलब ये जो सारी वाटर बॉडीज हैं वेंट वर्थ है लेक वेंट वर्थ इन न्यू हेमी स्वेयर डॉक एट ट्रिग्रीज एंड ऑल दैट सो हियर ही प्रैक्टिस अ लॉट राइट टू ओवर केम हिज रेजिड्यूल जो बचा कुचा डर था उससे लड़ने के लिए भी ही जस्ट डिड दैट ओके आई स्वैम द क्रॉल ब्रेस्ट स्ट्रोक साइड स्ट्रोक एंड बैक स्ट्रोक ओनली वंस डिड द टेरो रिटर्न वेन आई वॉज इन द मिडल ऑफ द लेक आई पुट माई फेस अंडर एंड सा नथिंग बट बॉटम लेस वॉटर नाउ हेयर ही इज सेंग that the terror when he was practicing in these uh, leaks and all that so this terror actually somehow became in the sh- uh, small episodes right and uh, he uh, when he put his head under the water he said and he was practicing the strokes the different styles of uh, swimming right so then for uh, for a while that for once that uh, uh, terror returned and when he put down his uh, head under the water he saw the bottomless water all around right and uh, with that his fear his the o- his old fear came back once again next let's see what he did so here uh, on your screen you can see the pictures of front crawling okay so this is one style of cr- uh, swimming second one this is breast stroke these all styles are this is breast stroke and uh, these are the side strokes you can see here these are the back stroke when jab ulta ho ke koi leta tairta hai so these are the different strokes the old sensation returned here he is saying ki fir wahi miniature returned in miniature miniature means this in the small size i laughed and said well mr terror what do you think you can do to me it fled and i swam on so here he is saying when that uh, when he you know put his un- uh, head under the water and he saw the water all around uh, and fear uh, that old fear returned so this time william laughed at the terror usne uska mazak udana shuru kar diya kar diya pichle slide mein humne padha ki usne uske sath baat karni shuru kar di bahut confidently aur ab usne uska mazak aur us pe hasna shuru kar diya ki tum kya karoge mera mera kya karoge abhi to main तुम्हें और भी ज़्यादा तैर के देखता हूँ वेल मिस्टर फ्रेरर वॉट यू थिंक यू कैन डू टू मी क्या कर लोगे तुम मेरा राइट एंड ही सेट दैट 
uh, he saw the terror vanished and he resumed his swimming yet i had residual doubts so these residual doubts are the uh, the doubts which are left right so he is saying there also after that also he had some doubts uh, on him that uh, if he is if he will be able to uh, you know swim uh, freely without any help so that uh, residual fear he want to overcome now next paragraph at my first opportunity i hurried west went up to the titan to concord meadows up the con up the conard uh, conrad creek trail to meadow glacier and camped in high meadow by the side of balm lake the next morning i stripped the dive into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back just as doug corporan used to do so here in this paragraph he is comparing himself with the uh, with a swimmer dog corporan right that he use, he used to do uh, these uh, practices so he said that he still had some doubts in the last slide you have read that yet i had residual doubts so here at at my first opportunity i hurried west so to uh, you know to overcome with those doubts also those fear also he he hurried towards the western direction to the western direction way into the west he is saying here and uh, he went up to the titan reached the conard meadows these are the places actually where he started where he did lot of practice of swimming he walked up the conard creek trail to midday glacier and he camped at the meadow by the वाम लेक वहीं पे उसने अपना डेरा जमा लिया और बहुत दिनों तक वहाँ पे प्रैक्टिस करता रहा सो द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग आई स्ट्रिप डू डाइव इन टू द लेक सो वट ही डेड द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग ही वोर द स्विमिंग कॉस्ट्यूम मीन्स आई स्ट्रिप द डाइव इन टू द लेक द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग आई स्ट्रिप सो ही वोर दैट स्विमिंग कॉस्ट्यूम एंड डाइव द इन टू द लेक right he swam across and swam across to the other shore and back so what he did he swam across the lake and to the another end and returned just like the uh, famous american dog corporal used to do right so he just said here he just took the name of a person uh, to whom he aped here uh, you know he was also a swimmer american uh, swimmer he was dog corporal सो ही सेट कि उसकी तरह ही मैंने प्रैक्टिस किया और वो भी बहुत बहुत दिनों तक ऐसे ही प्रैक्टिस करता था आई शाउटेड विद जॉय एंड गिलबर्ट पीक रिटर्न द इको इको इज वॉट द रिपीटेड साउंड आई हैड कन कर्ड माई फेयर ऑफ वॉटर नाउ ही सेट दैट ही शाउटेड विद जॉय वेन ही स्वाम इन टू दैट लेक ही शाउटेड विद जॉय एंड हिज वॉइस री साउंडेड यू कैन से द इको दैट इज री साउंडेड as the mountain peak which mountain peak gilbert right as the uh, mountain peak named gilbert uh, reverted that uh, sound right echo mein kya hota hai revert hota hai sound to wahi pe he said that ki uski bhi voice waise hi uh, peak uh, ye jo gilbert peak hai uski wajah se revert ho gaye and uh, i had conquered my fear of water so he had overcome the fear this time now he was confident he was sure the experience had a deep meaning for me as only those who have known stark fear terror and conquered it can appreciate in death there is a peace so here he said that this experience had a great importance in uh, his life and he realized that death was peaceful he realized that death was peaceful and only the fear of the death was fear uh, on the sorry the fear of the death was fearful there is a terror only in the fear of death as roosevelt former president of usa knew when he said all we have to fear is fear itself so here he just experienced he just took, recollected the words of uh, uh, one of the presidents of america who mr roosevelt right with whom uh, he worked also for a long time so he just uh, recollects all the words and uh, uh, he said that roosevelt said that 
all we have to fear is fear itself right and this one all we have to fear is fear itself as uh, william had experienced death and fear of death dono hi cheeze usne experience kari thi jab wo us jab usko fink diya gaya tha swimming pool mein the deep end right so here there he experienced both the things right death also and the fear of death also so his desire to live grew uh, immensely he felt released from fear and was free to walk up and uh, trails and climb the mountains fearlessly so because i had experienced both the sensation of dying and terror that fear it can produce the will to live somehow grew intensely so what i said in the last slide also that he felt he felt released now from the fear and was to free to walk up at last i felt released free to walk up the trails and climb to the peaks or peaks and the and uh, to brush aside fear so finally he overcame that fear so dear student students this was the story we have read uh, of william douglas that how he uh, overcame his fear of water so in if you uh, in short if you want to write down the uh, the answer of this that how did douglas overcame his fear of water so what he did when he, he when he thought that when he found that he was not able to come out of uh, his fear after many practices also so he hired a swimming instructor and he uh, changed him into a good swimmer and uh, then also he just uh, uh, he would swim in the lakes and found uh, fear there also Uh, to return which was returning in the small phases and uh, william was no longer scared because he knew this time that how to swim so that's why he overcame his fear so dear students we learned here in the chapter that uh, william douglas was able to overcome his fear by uh, sheer determination and uh, the message which is conveyed by the story is that it is not the death but the fear of the death that creates terror in our mind again please listen it is not death but the fear of death that creates terror in our mind and it happens with everyone so the that fear needs to be shaken off also any fears can be conquered if we try hard enough thank you very much for today stay safe stay healthy and keep studying thank you very much